Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was advice from a fuck boy. Live in Atlanta, Georgia, man. First of all, we live in Atlanta. How y'all doing, Atlanta? What's up, man? Make some noise. Make some noise. Um, before I get started, man, um, before I get started with, 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 with talking about our topics, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, um, next live podcast, when you watch this, Washington, D.C., May 15th, you see what the fuck is going on in Atlanta, all right? You see what's going on in Atlanta, D.C., you next. April, uh, May 15th, tickets is $5, let's sell that shit out too. Um, second, um, uh, I did announce my tour dates last time, ladies and gentlemen, um, so uh, you, can, you can read the tour dates in the description of this, and uh, the tickets go on sale starting tomorrow. Um, also, um, real quick before I get started, man, I wanna introduce my guests. Um, so last year when I lived in Atlanta, ladies and gentlemen, um, I lived here for about three months while I was uh, filming something, and uh, I was doing a uh, every week here. I was doing it every week here, and uh, she was one of the comments who came through and blessed the mic every week. Very funny girl, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Miss Melody Mitchell, y'all. Make some noise. All right. Hey guys. So um, Thank you. before, before, yeah, yeah, before we, before I. Uh, <laughs> you see how you do me. Before we, um, <laughs> before we. Um, before, I, before we get into the first topic, too, man, also, um, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, um, me and at somebody's son, the Instagram page, at me and somebody's son, we are hooking people up. Fellas, I need y'all to follow advice from a fuckboy page because I'm going to be posting somebody, I'm going to be posting daughters. Now, there's, <laughs> there's literally over 100 women in my fucking DM right now trying to get hooked up. I'm not even, and they fine, too, you know what I'm saying? They fine, they not, they not, they not, you know. They fine. <laughs> so, fellas, I need y'all to do me a favor, man. You know, do, do me a favor. Follow uh, advice from a fuckboy and make sure that you, uh, you, you, you slide in these women DMs. And be respectful, because if I find out y'all niggas DMing dick pics and shit, <laughs> I'm going to smack the shit out you, B, all right? <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's get into the first topic. Let's do it. You know, so they say, they say a lot of times, um, you know, men, do you have homeboys that let you know when you're fucking up with in a relationship? Mm. All right. One of my good friends in the audience right now, my man Cliff, known Cliff for a long time, over 10 years, right? And Cliff, if I ask Cliff, yo, man, what am I I'm doing? Here's, here's the situation with me and my lady or me and my sweetie, you know what I'm saying? What am I doing wrong? Cliff is like, Clint, you doing this, 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 and this. Women, for those of y'all that don't know, men hold men accountable. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Men, black men hold men accountable, all right? <laughs> we don't, excuse me. Hey, hey, shh. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. Now, but here's the question. Here's the question. Women, but don't answer this right now, Mel. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it to you in a second. Women. Do you tell your homegirls when you fucking up? No. Fellas, don't say nothing. Fellas, don't say nothing. Ladies, do you tell your homegirls when you got it? You got it. Let's just hypothetically say, Belle, let's say, let's say you. Relax, relax, relax. <laughs> I gotta hear this. Okay, go ahead. Let's say, let's say, Mel, you got a, 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 guy, you got a nice guy. You date okay. a fine, attractive, wholesome, non-cheating black man. Whoa, chill out. <laughs> chill out. Let's say, okay. let's say that's what you're doing, all right? And you, 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 you mess up. See, every time I hear girls on the phone, even my female friends that ask me for advice, you know what it always is? It's never him. It's never them. It's him. He's the fucking problem. Sometimes, ladies, you the fucking problem. And ladies, you need to hold your homegirls accountable for your bullshit, all right? See, while you sitting up there in your homegirls' comments and your homegirl, yes, bitch, you know, get... No, sometimes you are the problem. All I want to know is, and us men in here want to know is, okay, my man, my man right here, what's your name? 
Matthew. Matthew, that's a wholesome black. Biblical. Biblical. His name ain't. Biblical. His name ain't Khalif. Hey, Matt, this your lady, Matt? Yeah, it's a friend of mine. It's your friend? Okay. Yeah, that's he your lady. Look, that's look, your lady, right? Yeah, they look. Hey together. man, you messed up, right? No. You've never messed up. He lied. Has he ever messed up? Not to my knowledge. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Not to wait a minute. Not to not to my knowledge. What that saying is, I know you. I know. Don't move. Move back, cause you get. What he, What she saying is, I know you fucked up. That's what you're saying. All you had to say is no. You said not to my knowledge. Like there's other knowledge out there in the man. quantum universe. <laughs> what kind of bullshit is that? All I'm saying is, ladies, do you tell your do you tell your girlfriends when they fuck it up? So Mel, no. yeah. Mel, I got us. We good. Mel, Mel, we I'm just, wait, Mel. Now, Mel, before you, Mel, before you answer, right? Mm -hmm. Before you answer, Mel. Okay. Look at, I'm asking you two questions. Have you ever held your homegirl responsible for some fucked up shit she was doing? Mm -hmm. And two, have you been the homegirl who's, who's gotten, who hasn't gotten good advice from your girl? Because <laughs> girls give bad advice to their friends and y'all gonna end up single. That's the, that's the problem. A lot of y'all in here single, you got bad advice. So let's talk, Mel. I wanna hear okay. what you got to say. Okay, I'm gonna answer in reverse. I'll answer number two first. Okay. And me, <clears throat> I'm a very honest person with myself. I'm very self-aware. And I know when I'm not being shit. So I'll tell my homegirl some shit and I'll preface it by saying, bitch, I ain't shit. But guess what I just did? <laughs> like. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Fellas, do, we, don't, we don't say, yo, we ain't shit. <laughs> no, we be like, you know what? All y'all do is lie, that's why. I'm not here to argue. I'm here to have a healthy dialogue. <laughs> no, okay. But no, I will preface, I know when I'm wrong. You know and when you're wrong. I know when I'm wrong. Okay, when's the last time you was wrong? Shit. Currently? You wrong right now. Yeah, I'm probably, yeah. You wrong right now. In this Low key. Today at, at 10.59 p.m. Low in key. Atlanta, Georgia, on, on, what road are we on? 14th Street? 14th. You yeah. are wrong. Probably, yeah. What happened? It depends. How? Because I, 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 I feel like, <laughs> shit, if, you know what? If he hear this, fuck it. That yeah, be a supporter. Anyway, but I low-key think this nigga mad at me because he know I talked to his profile. I've said too much. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But hear me out. It wasn't that serious. Now shit was like four years ago. So it was like, it's fine. So wait a minute, you used to talk to his profile four years ago. Yeah. And now you're talking to yeah. him. Yeah. Does he know this? Probably. I'm not going to say shit. So wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're not, you're not... I ain't wrong. That's you're not thing. wrong. No, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. You're not wrong. So I'm like, it depends. But like, he been acting kind of stank. So I'm like, dang, I'm, I wonder if this nigga just found out. Say this again. Oh, lately he's been acting stank. Yeah. So I'm like, damn. How much do you, how much do you like him? I like him. He don't live here, so it's, it ain't, ain't but so much I can like him. Where you live at? Not in Florida. <laughs> that ain't down the street. That is not down the street. When I mean by you wrong, okay. Okay, no, okay, I can give you a I'm wrong. I'm about to say, you a, didn't do nothing wrong. A you super talk, wrong. You talked to this profile. That it just depends on who you ask whether or not I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong. Okay, and undergrad. I, I think the, the congregation, we will I'm agree. not wrong, right? Okay, She's cool. not wrong, right? But in undergrad, I no, give... listen, if you fuck with somebody, first of all, let me tell you something. There's a statute of limitations <laughs> on fucking with people, it, all right? It, exactly, and I'm, I'm fine. I don't feel wrong. Yeah, I'm nah, saying, and, if, yeah, depending on who you ask, if, like, oh, that's wrong. If you didn't want me in 2000, what's this, 2019? Yeah. If you didn't want me in 2014, it's five years later, and your friend want me, nigga, I'm then fucking your what? friend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we grown as fuck. <laughs> Not the sound effect. <laughs> No, but okay. For example, okay, I'm, I'm relatively kind of young, so right. undergrad wasn't that far ago. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that long ago. So I had a. Is, is it still too? I just need you in. The, yeah. Hey man, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I had a great guy, and I was low key playing with some trash nigga, and it was just like. So you had a great guy, and you was playing with trash guy. Yeah, but I couldn't force it. You can't just make shit just work. You know, sometimes it just don't. You can't put a. You know. A square peg into a round hole, and it just don't. Sometimes it just don't work. I think that was a horrible analogy for what you were trying. It just to say. don't work. If it don't work, 
it don't work. What do you mean it doesn't? First of all, let me tell y'all something, man. How old are you again? 24. Ah. <laughs> okay, God damn it. Okay. Okay, yes. I'm fucking young. Okay. It's not my fucking fault. I turned 25 this year. Fuck y'all. Hey, that doesn't hey, invalidate hey. everything I say hey, the rest of the year. Hey, hey, shut your old asses up, all right? <laughs> shut Period. up to you motherfuckers who had to take a nap before you got here. <laughs> Shut up, all right? Fuck she it. had energy. Fucking 80s babies. Fuck y'all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> now, Mel, I had your back for a second. And now wait, I have it. some urgent information for y'all, though, for real. For 80s babies. All jokes aside, I saw something on Twitter today that said, if you got the measles shot before 89, you need to get it again. So... For my older crowd, y'all may want to circle back around to that I'm doctor. A, I'm black. Black people don't get the fucking measles. These like, unvaccinated fucking white kids ever, is getting everybody ever, sick. When you ever seen black get people with the measles? Get your fucking shots again. Bro, hey, great. You ever seen black people with the measles? I've never seen a black. I've seen it with the chicken pox. All right. It's 2019. Shit is, is, is evolving. Actually, all right. Let's not. Okay. <laughs> no, your girlfriends need to tell you you wrong right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that okay. No, but I can I can address when I'm wrong, and then some. <laughs> okay, the closest example of my homegirl being wrong, I ain't say shit. I ain't gonna, I'm low key accomplice, so I ain't going Okay, now, I'm I'm an accomplice. I've been an accomplice to cheating. Um, same, same, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean I I feel like if, listen, you know, like I don't the, know him, so like, shit. Well, I don't, you know, no. The whole thing is is that I'm fr okay. Let's say, let's say, let's say my man, we're not gonna use you because you don't do shit. Let's say, <laughs> let's say y'all together. You, let's say Matt and old girl, we don't say no. Like he's a good looking guy. You a good looking girl. Don't act like that. Y'all in the front. Let's say, up for this. let's say, let's say y'all, y'all like each other. Y'all decide. And then Matt says, Clint, I need your help. I need you to get me out this bullshit. Oh. Matt, I'm here for you, bro. All right. I'm going to make sure. So, but also, I'm also going to tell you like, Matt, look, man, if you're going to be over here, be over here. If you're gonna be over there, be over there. Like I'm, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna help you out. It's almost like when you ask your parents for money. <laughs> you ever ask your mom or your dad for money and they give you a whole lecture on why you should have money in your account at the age you are, <laughs> and then they'll still give you $200 anyway? It's kind Literally, of the same, it's kind of the same shit. Like I will tell my homeboys, yo man, you fucked up, this ain't cool, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, what you need me to say? That's right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We're talking about friendship here, okay? Right. Well, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. You said, you said that's not accountability, right? Yes. I agree with you. But at the end of the day, ladies, I, I, think, you need, I think you know this by now. Men, we have, we have a certain code. Got code. That yeah. We just... We There's just a girl a, code, too. We just have a... Yeah, but I don't, I don't give a fuck about the girl code. Whoa. Yeah, well, so our code is more so like, guys, we can't... We'll, we'll, here's how I will say this. You look like a sucker if you don't help your man out in a situation. You look like a sucker. And I know that's, and, and, and ma'am that said that that's not uh, accountability. I know that's, that's wrong of us and we need to do better. But at the end of the day, if my, like, okay, I'll give you a prime example. And I'm not going to put my friend's name out there, but my friend, he's in a relationship right now. All right? My friend uses my house to, you know. Whoa. That's next level. What do you mean that's next level? You pay rent there. That's like you paying for him to fuck other hoes. Nah, nah. Well, well. First of all, I need y'all to calm down. Chief. Calm down. Calm know. down. So first of all, let, before you before y'all get judgy up in here, all right? <laughs> I have a two bedroom apartment. It is the point. My man, he <laughs> listen. When I'm out of town, he wants to use my other bedroom to do See. it. Okay. To cheat. You saying boo? Listen. So so ladies, wait a minute. So you're not gonna let your homegirl cheat at your house? Y'all yeah. some lying ass motherfuckers. That's a lie. You Mel. If, That's a lie. Okay, wait, it's, I have questions. Give me, I got answers. Okay, so when they come, does he have a key? Do they walk he actually the sheets does, he afterwards? Does, he, so here's the thing. My second bedroom doesn't have a bed in it. My second bedroom is actually my, it's, it's my podcast room. It's where I record my podcast at. So if y'all, listen, listen, 
if y'all watch the podcast on YouTube, I got a brown couch and I got a red couch. And the brown couch has albums on it. And he takes the albums off. He puts a sheet on the couch. He does what he needs to do. He leaves and he and he leaves and he leaves seventy five dollars on the table. <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> wait, that's, wait, 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 wait. That's what, okay. listen, that's what good friends do for each other, man. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if you're going to be having some kind of cheap brothel, I'm going to need you to have more amenities than that. I I'm going to need you to have amenities. some fucking, I need a futon. First of all, in Pull my house, out. let's talk about my house for a second. Let's talk about my house. Like, if he comes and entertains a woman at my house... First of all, I got Netflix, I got Hulu, I got I got I got real time cable with all the fucking channels. Money, okay. I got I got pots, I got pans, I got He cooking for bitches at your house? I got food in the refrigerator. Nigga, I want the I want the side chick experience. That's an Airbnb. That's a business. Yeah. Drag Listen, that up. You know what, fellas, if you fuck- didn't, Fellas, if you live in, if you watching this or you listen to this and you live in Los Angeles, Cheaters Anonymous, fellas, <laughs> you can use my house to cheat, all right? <laughs> no, but okay, Mel, be honest. You, 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 if your girl was like, yo, you going out of town for the weekend, and your girl's like, look, I got a boyfriend, but I really want, like, this new nigga is coming to town. I need this dick. Can you? <laughs> you gonna be like, nah, bitch, you ain't using my house. That's the, you that, know. that destroys a friendship. I know because because if the shoe were on the other foot, I'd want to be like, "Bitch, the key under the mat. Don't leave a mess." That's, That's some real friend shit, you That's know. It. I can't totally. Okay, y'all judging again. So we, I here's the thing: everybody in here want to be righteous and tell you in the situation, and it has to happen to you. Let me tell you something. It be it be some yolo shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Now you said you said you said you said you'll do it. I would do it. You would do it for you. Ah, thank you. I There's one real bitch in the audience. I appreciate there it that. Is. Thank you, sis. I appreciate it. What's your name? Janai. Janai? What's up? How you doing, Janai? <laughs> when, it, when it comes down to it, I think I'll be, you know, down for the cause. I just think that, I just think that we have to, we, oh, now, if you want to be that friend, and what I mean by that friend is, and we're going to address what my, my, uh, my girl over there said, that that's not accountability. You know, if you want to be the accountability friend, be that friend. You know what I'm saying? There's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with that. Like, my thing is, your friends should definitely hold you accountable your, for your bullshit. Absolutely. My friends do that to me all the time. They always tell me, like, yo, Clint, man, you're doing this, you're doing that, man. You need to stop. You need this. My thing is, is that, though, I feel like, you know, when you, when, you, when you hold your friend accountable, you can't be, like, a lot of times people get in their feelings and they get mad because their friends hold them accountable for shit. And a lot of times it could be like, oh, like, because people will be like, oh, you judging me? Like, no, nigga, I ain't judging you. I'm just telling you, like, yo, if you're you making a bad decision. Like, okay, I'll give you a promise. I'm a, true story. So um, I got a friend who's gay, all right? Well, he doesn't think he's gay. <laughs> well, <laughs> wait a minute. No, I'm not even joking. He, 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 he like, look, if, if a man makes you hard, you gay. And I don't even, and I, you know what? I don't even like putting labels on people. He likes, he likes fucking men and women. But I told him, I said, bro, I said, and we, we're not, well, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> well, why are y'all not friends? Because he got, well, he got mad at me because I explained to him. I told him, I said, bro, like, you know, I, that, I'm, I'm not saying that's the leading cause of AIDS, but. <laughs> well. F- Technology I'm just and saying, the medicine you, as it is. You fucking men and you he fucking women. Get on and you, prep. But you're not honest about it. Let my thing is be honest about what you're doing so women can have a choice. Well, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Like if you can if you tell a girl, that if you tell a girl, true. hey, look, I'm gonna be honest with you, babe. I mean, you you, you I like dick too. Yeah. Let her <laughs> <laughs> Let me make that choice. Like, oh, you like dick too? Okay. Yeah. You can move forward. Or no, 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 no we, thank you. Bottom line, man, and, and I Women think, deserve to make that choice. So that's what I'm saying. So when I held him accountable and told him, like, yo, you gotta be you gotta be honest, man. You can't be he just he felt as though I was judging him. And I'm like, no, I'm not judging you for being for being homosexual. I'm not judging you for liking dick. I'm judging you because you're not you're lying to women and you're being a fuck boy. Advice from a fuck boy. Yeah, man, you being a fuck boy, like 
you lying to you lying to women to get what you want. And my thing is, at the end of the day, bro, just just if you want both, you can say that. Like this is 2019. You ain't gotta yeah. lie about what you want, man. Like, I listen. I try. This to talk, is in LA. Uh, no, well, he live. He's from Philly, and he lives in New York. I was about to say, well, New York, low key too. But I'm like LA, you can kind of be anything well, you want to well, be. Well, 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 listen. I, I now I do. <laughs> I'm about to tell a funny story. Um, oh dear. Uh, when I lived in Atlanta, I saw a beautiful woman, and I tried to talk to her uh, last oh. year. And uh, she, uh, she, so I met her on Bumble, nah. and um, we went out, we went out, we went out, we went out for drinks. I never told this story. We went out for drinks, and she was like, "Look, I'ma just keep it real with you. I used to be a guy." And she but she was, was real. She was so fucking fine. I was like, you know what? I don't even care, man. <laughs> But you know what? She let you know, and you can make that choice. No, but I mean, like, she, I, she was, I, I said, yo, like, these plastic surgeon niggas, man, they, they getting better and better by the month. That's the point. Especially here in Atlanta, man. God damn, I got to start asking to see birth certificates and that shit. That shit is man. seamless. It's fucking crazy, man. But she gave you that choice. You know what I'm she saying? She gave me the choice. And that's all I'm saying. To, and, and again, it goes back to accountability. You know what I mean? Holding your man. You said, what? Did I finish the deal? The, fuck no. You left? I mean, she's a man. She. I, I, I don't want to date you, bro. <laughs> no. No. She identifies as female. And you were attracted to her. That's why you felt so. Because she she, 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 she was real as fuck. She didn't. She was real. Listen, listen. She, she didn't. I, I'm not mad at him or her or whatever. She, you was doing so good. She. She, well. So, that's what she identifies as. You gonna fuck a, a, a nigga? Hey, man, shut up, dog. All right? No, but no, no. The whole point, no. So y'all want, now y'all want details. I hate women. Why do you? You shouldn't have told us. Why do women, gotta know. women love, okay. Here's what, okay. She said, during, during, she said, yo, she kept like being, you know how girls be like, I got something to tell you, but oh, I just don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm thinking like she about to tell me like she got a boyfriend. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> so? Like, <laughs> but I'm, and then I joke around and I'm like, oh, what, you a man? And she was like, <laughs> and I was like, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, bitch. <laughs> and she's and no, like, ha, ha. she was like, she was dead ass. She was like, <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, so then, so, so what she, happened? Did you? So get after that, that, so after that, I was like, yo, I appreciate you telling me. Um, uh, and I said, you know, I don't, I don't. That, that's not what I, you know, you know, I. I <laughs> It's not what I'm into. You have the right to not be comfortable with that. Yeah, I just, I, no, no, no. I wasn't even. I wasn't even comfortable. I was just like, that's not what I'm into. I, right. You know, I said you look. You look great. And I said, <laughs> <laughs> you're not for me. You know. Um. And uh, good luck. And we, you know, but we continued to talk. At you know, after that, um, I went on my merry way, and she never heard from me again. So okay. So as far as dinner, like, did y'all order? Did you like? Well, we were at a. We were, well, it wasn't even dinner. Dinner. Like, we was at the Cheesecake Factory. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but we was at the that's, Cheesecake that's Factory dinner. bar. Like, they bring bread to the bar too. That's yeah, dinner. We, I mean, whatever. But all right. So I'm gay. I went on a date with a nigga. <laughs> whatever, yo. It's okay. Sexuality is a spectrum. Did, real question, did you pay? Listen, man. So yes. Listen. So you paid. No. <laughs> look, regardless of whether you a man or a woman, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> so you paid. I paid. I paid. Cause she's still a lady, period. So <laughs> how do we even get here? I don't How did we get here? You volunteered that fucking story. Well, I thought it was funny. And now y'all want, because I, I thought I was going to be able to tell the story, move on. You but, can't just tell a story like women, that. Black women like on. details, man. Like, they really want to know what kind of shirt you had on. Yep. They want to know. How was the weather? What, yeah. What, was it raining outside? And, and I ain't got time. For, what's her Instagram? I don't fucking know. I don't follow that bitch or him, that nigga. I don't follow you, bro. See, don't, <laughs> you're ridiculous. 
Because before you found out what she was born as, you wanted to be all up in that thing. So don't be trying to shit on her. No, she, she I said you. she's or he's fine. Like you were saying she till you started getting judged, and then she became look, bro. He, she, I, she, everybody, he's he, she was fine. All right, and I it's don't. Okay. I don't feel bad now. And if if she would have told me, yo, I'm a man, or I was born a man, and then I went home with him, or went home with her, then yeah, I'm gay. But I didn't know. Like <laughs> she it's didn't. Still a coochie. Is she post op? She didn't leave with that. Yo, let's next topic, Maybe man. Like, <laughs> look it up. I'm just look it up. Y'all. You ever you ever dated a guy that used to be a girl? I have not encountered one, but from my trans research, because I have looked into this shit, the the female to male transition is way more seamless to, than male to female. Yeah, you gotta cut your. Never mind. No, 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 no. I'm saying like <laughs> you facially, like they can get their bone structure changes, their cheekbones change, they can get facial hair. Like the only thing that you can tell if it's a female to man transition is that they have the scars under their um, breasts yeah. to show that they got their breasts moved. Like somebody I went to middle school with actually transitioned. That's cute. That's it's, cool. Yeah, cool. I went to a white middle school though, but right, still. Yeah. So next. I would topic. have to make that decision. So, I'm sorry, I'm kind of no, PC. I'm sorry. No, 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 that's cool. I, I just, you know, this is the the trans show. So. <laughs> the trans. <laughs> Shut up. This is not advice from a trans tranny. Right. Don't dig this fucking shit up ten years from now and try to cancel me and shit. Ooh, no, no, you ain't saying that. No, not y'all. Y'all, y'all good. But nobody. So what did you say? You didn't say. I didn't say anything. But niggas would love to say. Oh, she said she wouldn't date a trans man. Them niggas be fine. No, that doesn't make you okay, man. Remember, remember No, I'm I'm, I'm Remember playing. when the trans person said was it a trans person that said on Genuine's post that they wanted to, that he wanted to, that they like I think Genuine like they was they was trying to kiss oh, Genuine. Yeah, like, no. yeah, he was like, nah, yeah, you ain't just gonna kiss me. Like, you know what I mean? And I respect that. You know what I mean? These yeah. lips ain't for everybody, bitch. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Now if it was like 1998 Genuine, I totally understand, but like 20 <laughs> 1918. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga's struggling right now. I see. Bro, have y'all seen that? It's a TGT interview. That. Genuine was high I as fuck. <laughs> Tyrese was just looking at him like, this nigga high as fuck <laughs> on this morning show. Oh, <laughs> they man. couldn't even see. All right. Okay, go ahead. Go Next ahead. topic. Next man. topic. Go ahead. There's a, there's a war going on out here, fellas. Oh, God, here we go. There's a war going on out here, fellas, and we, we need to be prepared for it. Um, you know, they say you can't date somebody who y'all don't share the same religious topics. Oh, so a Muslim God. can't date a Christian. I, I don't believe in that, but whatever. They say you, they say you, you shouldn't date somebody who y'all, don't, y'all not on the same page with God. Equally yoked. Okay, equally fucking Stop. yoked. Yeah. You, they also say you can't date somebody, you know, when it comes to politics. You mm-hmm. know, like y'all don't share the same politics. Yeah. You vote for Trump, they vote for, you know, it, it don't work, all right? Mm-hmm. Here's another thing that don't work. Fellas, how many motherfuckers in here, fellas, uh, fellas, fellas only. <laughs> How many fellas in here eat meat and eat uh, like eat like they not, y'all eat meat? You eat whatever. You Carnivore. You eat gluten. <laughs> so if you eat real food, period. I can't, fella, fellas. <laughs> on the first date, you ask this bitch if she's a vegan, <laughs> and if she is, fellas, Please. go home. Yeah. I don't date, I don't, why? Because I dated a vegan and we always argue. So the argument about what you want to eat is already bad. It is. Take it 10 steps further it when she don't eat meat, she don't eat eggs, she don't eat cheese. rice, Ew. she don't eat cheese, she don't eat, she don't even, she, listen, she's particular about the peppers she eat. I'm like, this is from, she's like, this ain't organic though. So, can you date somebody who don't eat like you? Honestly, I feel like that'll eventually. Wait, wait, wait. Do you do you eat? Do you eat? I eat literally fucking everything. So like, I'm I I eat. So like, man, yeah. oh, I can't eat. Listen, we're going to fucking American Deli because that's what I want. American Deli, what's that? You don't know what American? <laughs> Nigga, I don't know what American Deli is. All right. <laughs> wait a minute. Hey. What? You I, lived in Atlanta for three months and no one's you know where I went to, Do you know where I ate every day in Atlanta for three months? Where? <laughs> Mr. Everything. I ate there every day. Sure, okay, wait a minute. Day. If you ate at Mr. Every Everything, day. I'm sure there was an American Deli in, I, in Ice Shot. I didn't see it. I American saw, Deli, nah. okay. I went so, over there, got the chicken over the rice. 
Okay. I'm going to explain American Deli to you. Okay, okay, explain it. It's called American Deli. Okay. It's owned by Asians. <laughs> and the Mexicans cook in the back. <laughs> That's literally every American Deli. Am I lying? <laughs> okay. Whether you're on the east side, west side, south side, that's how American Deli is set up. It's, okay. it's such a fucking weird menu because you can get a Philly, you can get a burger, you can get you Chinese. You get a what? A Philly. What the fuck is a Philly? A, <laughs> Mr. Philadelphia, a Philly cheesesteak, a chicken Philly. You can get a burger, a salad, you can get Chinese rice. Time out. Oh, here he go. Here come, here time come out. Philadelphia. Time, time out. Mel. Mel. Yes. Um, I know. If I know. y'all listen to the pot, where am I from? Philly. Now, you're not gonna look me in my eye and tell me I can get a Philly. You call it a Philly. It's not even called a Philly. It's a cheese thing. All right. And and y'all. That's mean, what them Chinese people put on that menu. Man, That's I don't, don't want cheese steaks from Chinese motherfuckers. I don't want Jutao making my fucking cheese steaks. The Mexicans making Miguel makes the fucking cheese steaks. No, I don't want Miguel steak. making my cheese steak. I want fucking. I want. I want Matt making my fucking cheese steak. You know what I mean? <laughs> so go ahead. You can get cheese. Steak, whatever. All right. Can somebody, oh, real quick. Can somebody go out there and get me a bottle opener, please? Thank you. <laughs> So for those of us who doesn't ha- who don't have access to Philadelphia, okay, we just get some steakums with some cheese and some bell peppers. Listen, I'm gonna be honest, man. Like I've, uh, you know, I'm at the point in my life where I'm doing a little bit better financially. <laughs> I don't eat steakums no more, man. I'm sorry, man. I, I don't. Uh-uh. It's fucking good, okay. okay. American Deli is delicious. They put they got the crinkly fries. They put a whole bunch of seasoning salt on that motherfucker. Uh-huh. You got a lot of cholesterol going on. Then you get the peach drink. You gotta get the peach drink. No one knows exactly what's in it, but it's peach drink. And it's cold. Go ahead and handle me too. Yeah. And it's fucking good. And they usually have a plastic covering like they about to fucking rob the restaurant, but it's just fast food in a takeout tray. Okay. How do you even get to American Deli? What? Oh. Right, so, so do you eat everything is the question. I eat everything. So I feel like if I'm with somebody who's not going to want, you know, some regular ass shit. Like I eat healthy, but I, but sometimes I want some fucking Little Caesars. You know, granted it's it's baked cardboard. I know it's nasty, but they have good cheese sticks, and sometimes that's what I fucking want. All right. Oh, so y'all too good for Little Caesars? Yes, yes, absolutely. Listen. Wow. Listen. Have listen. y'all had the cheese bread? Yes, and the shit is. It's good. Shh. Fuck y'all. The shit. The shit is the shit is absolutely disgusting. The thing is, I bring I bring up the listen. I bring up the food topic because I think that a lot of times, especially now, we 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 live in a society where everybody wants to change their diet. Which I I'm all for that. If you want to you know you know you want to lose weight or you just want to mm-hmm. eat healthier, you don't want those toxins in your body. I totally respect that. But everybody, it's almost like a you know, you ever, listen. I dated a woman one time who turned her life over to Christ. All right, uh, worst yeah. shit ever. All right, I could, I could imagine. Worst shit ever. I could imagine. And, and I don't mean worse as in like I'm mad that she found God. I'm mad that you know now that she found God, there's things we can't do. Like let sex. me get, let me get a nude. No, you know I don't think my God would appreciate that. <laughs> like that's it's how just new, how God. That's how new Christians be. Yeah, me and my God. Like bitch, he mine too, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. No, okay, and and what will happen is it, it, like, okay, I'm cool with a woman de- with a woman devoting her life to God. I think that's an g- amazing thing. But when you make a when you make a transition like that, mm-hmm. you do. I don't think you have to. I'm not gonna say you have to tell me, but you gotta remember, I'm accustomed to getting ass daily or weekly or you know however much. How was much it a we, full ass cut off? Like it was just no ass at all. It was no like, ass at all. Yeah, we went. We did went. Did you have like one last shebang? We didn't do none you? of that, man. It oh, was no. just like she woke. She went to church one day, and I blame her fucking friends too. <laughs> she was laid up with me one Sunday. Her friend was like, "Yo, what you doing?" She says, "Bitch, you've been going through some shit. You need to come to church." And I was like, yeah, "Okay, you right." And she came back celebrating. And then she came back. She went to altar call. Oh, and, that, and, and, and that altar call will get you every time. Yeah, man. You know, squeeze pastor, one neighbor's hand. Yeah, man. Is anybody that want to rededicate their life to Christ? 
I now, mean, now I ain't, now we can't fuck. Now we can't fuck. Now she wants to, she wants to, she, now it's just, it's, it's, it's just us. And, and I gotta deal with this. But my thing is, I, I'm the type of guy, you gotta, uh, you gotta. Excuse the fuck yeah, out no, of us. Not, yeah, my bad, we not, we, we, we hey, wasn't, I guess. So look, so she, she does, she, she, so my thing is, ease me into that. <laughs> ease me, no, no, like, like, okay, if you wanna, let's say you want you wanna take a new walk with Christ, just say, hey, Clint, look, um, you know, uh, I like what we're doing and I like what we have. Um, I think you, you know, I think that we, we, we could go places. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now I'm going with, 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 with God. Jesus. Do you, you know, do you want to, do you want to join me? And, and I, I got the ability to say, yeah, but like, what man going to be like, nah, I ain't joining you on the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what man going to say like, oh, bitch, nah, you, you with God? Who the fuck? <laughs> like, Right. So, but right. I, and I equate that to being vegan or like changing your lifestyle with food. Like, it's like, like, tell me, like, look, if you, no, want, I feel that. Like, let's let's do it together. You know what I'm saying? Don't make it a solo journey. Like, if you were, if you, okay, I mean, I don't, I, you know, I, I, what the fuck is going on in here, man? What was that? Was that a sneeze? Y'all all right? Bless you. I know. For me, I'm not letting go of bacon. It's just not happening. I'm sorry. Like, I can stop eating anything, but bacon just hits on a level. Listen, that bacon hit differently when it's on a fucking bacon, egg, and cheese on a when roll. strawberry and jelly. Yeah, I get I it. just, I'm not going to be, I can't, I'm sorry. I uh, know, I'm with you. First of all, my man. No, that shit is rubber. My man, no. my man, my man. Fuck turkey my man, bacon. My man, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. My man, shh, my man, this is Atlanta, all right? Turkey bacon ain't real. That's not fucking bacon. It's turkey it's strips. It's fucking ugly, first of all. Hold on, hold on. Let him speak. Oh, ho, oh, shh. Let him speak. Go ahead. Shh. I eat pork bacon, but she eats turkey bacon. So. You lose. <laughs> Nigga, you lose. Like, you don't. I remember, look, my ex, man, I'll never forget this shit, man. My ex, uh,. Uh, last girl, I mean, I, we dated way, you know, about 2013, 2014, and uh, we lived together and shit. And I'll never forget, she would not let me cook bacon in the house oh, that I on. paid rent at. Oh, hell no. Um, I'm like, what kind of shit is this? She couldn't smell swine? She didn't like, like the smell of it. She didn't like the smell of it. That's one of the best smells ever. <laughs> Man, you wake up and smell some bacon in the morning, like, you ready for the day. I didn't, I bought, listen, fellas. Now, you said you didn't do it. Nigga, there's certain rules with it your woman cushy. you gotta just abide by, dog. You, you, you don't, there's certain battles I don't fight, all right? The bacon fight, I'm not fighting the bacon fight, all right? We didn't, I, we, we didn't, it was bacon and she didn't want a TV in the bedroom. I lost, I lost that fight too. I lost that, yeah, man. I'm a sucker low key, yo. I was telling you that early. You I'm, a, I was, I'm a sucker, man. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's not. Mm -mm. See, you know what's that. funny? Niggas in here could be like, "Oh man, that's bullshit." You get around your woman, man. Stop fucking lying, dog. You, you, you. Niggas you, do a lot of shit. For you some do coochie. a lot of shit. It's for coochie. It's really not even us. It's vagina on tap. Right. That's what y'all not gonna fuck up that on demand coochie. So y'all. Watch me. That came. Wait a minute. That came from here, dog. I felt that shit. I said, don't believe me, just watch. He said, fuck Coochie, I want that TV. Coochie, I want TV, nigga. He want you know that what? Netflix. But here's the thing, though. I'm glad you, how old are you, good brother? I'm 31. You 31. We th I'm 31, too, bro. And you know what? There's a point in our lives now where you there's certain things in the pecking order that, you know, like, okay, I'm 31. When I was 22, it was, the pecking order was... Good sex, good food, good sleep. That was the that was the order. Yeah. Now at 31, nigga, sex is last. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. You nigga, sex is cool, but nigga, you ever <laughs> you ever have a good fucking meal, nigga? A uh, good like I'm talking good food, then good uh, nigga, a nap. <laughs> Number one. A nap? Fam, now, 
y'all, y'all, a lot of people may think, a lot of people may think, because I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a sta- I'm a comedian, so I, I, I don't, I, you know, I work all, all day, every day, right? Mm-hmm. So in my office, what I'll do is, nigga, I will hide out in a little, we got a little, we got a little, little section in the, of the office where you can just, you know, like take a nap. It's a little nice little couch, boom, nigga. It'd be like, some, if I know I got a meeting at like four, I'll take a nap at like one mm. and wake up at three. Oh, that's a good nap. And I'm so fucking that's refreshed. A good ass nap. Like, and remember when we was kids, we was in kindergarten, they'd be like, it's nap time. And you'd be like, oh man, I don't want to take no nap. At, at 31, nigga, you, you fellas, you wanna you wanna get a girl, you want you wanna get a girl to really love you? Call her and be like, yo, what you doing right now? Nothing. Come take a nap with me. That's intimacy. That's some real fucking shit. Fucking nap, dog. Hell yeah. Take a fucking nap. Let's go night night, bitch. I took a nap. <laughs> no, real shit. I took a nap in my car the other day. Yeah. Like on a lunch break. Naps are, naps are nigga. That car nap hit on a level like. Naps is. Bruh, that midday car naps nap. Is be- naps is better than pussy. Honestly. Naps is better. Now, I don't know how good you think. I don't know how. Ladies, I know you think. I know you may think your shit is good, but you ain't got shit over a nap, all right? I'm just being honest. And a lot of women in here would agree, like, nigga, your dick is cool, but I'd rather go to sleep. No, seriously. And some of y'all with the nigga, you'd rather go to sleep on, but. Nah, man. I just, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting older, man. Um, one thing that I'm, I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to get rid of is, um, is gender roles. Mm-hmm. I think gender roles need to go out the window. But I think there's certain things that need to stay the same. Like, um, I'm watching finances. What do you mean finances? <laughs> what do you, no, 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 no. Ex- ex- hold on, no. Explain. Who said that? Who said finances? Explain. I said finances. Explain. I feel- yeah, I'm going there. We here. If I'm, if, I'm staying, if I'm staying with a guy, it depends on the level of our relationship. I do feel like he is obligated to pay certain things. Certain things. Now. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> I got you, sis. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> Go ahead. He's obligated to pay certain things. Like, I like he, and I'll do my part as well. What's your part? Sis, you keep, lost me. Keep finishing. Keep, you lost me, sis. Keep going, sis. Where we going? Go ahead. It depends on the magnitude of our relationship. If we dating, if we working on going to... No, let her finish, y'all. If we working on going to an actual, this is my husband, oh, we got everything. If we... Okay. I'm with you and you're right. Okay, all right. Um. All right. Let me tell you something. 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 Here's my thing. We but we 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 we're here. We're here. All right. So all right. First of all, if I'm if you're you, the key word you used and the first key word you used was if I'm staying with you. Okay, so you're staying with me, all right? You're, you're staying with Now, my thing is this. I don't think, first of all, I know how to cook very well. We're good. Better than you, probably. We don't know. You don't. Go ahead. We can, <laughs> I'll be here all weekend. We can bet money, sis. <laughs> Put your money where your macaroni and cheese at, baby, all right? Second, no, but second, and, and, my, and anybody that's ever been to my house, my house is spotless. Right. My house is like spotless. I'm a neat. Well, you're the no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. My man. Wait, 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 wait. My man, your house is clean? Yes. My man, your house clean? You got three houses. Flex. Flex. Ladies, Matthew has three houses. <laughs> He got three houses. He said that for the hoes. Hoes, are y'all listening? Wait a minute. My man, 
So wait a minute. So what I'm saying is, is that I don't I don't need that. And I don't that's not what I mean by gender roles. What I mean is, okay, number one, ladies, don't propose to me, because you're gonna embarrass yourself. Oh, hell no. All right? Hell no. If I see that shit all the time on Instagram and bitches Fuck be no. on their knees. No. If, no. If, any, any, if you leave, if you don't learn anything else from this podcast today, don't, if I ever see any, I'm gonna follow all of y'all. If I see any of y'all getting on your knees to ask a nigga, I'm gonna I'm pull up. I'm First of all, if that nigga wanted to marry you, he would have been asked. That's the bottom line. Bottom line. So, I ask but when shit. it comes to, but when it comes to, let's, let's, let's get into the finances thing. Like, it's interesting because women want to want to be, you know, I'm independent and I do what I want and blah, blah, blah. Now is he's my husband. He got me. Listen, I'm, listen. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here with the ad libs. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. If if you're my if you're my if my wife, we just talking about my wife. All right. If I get married, whatever happens. Um, no, yeah, I do got you. All right, I got you. There's no you don't got you don't. And, and here's why. Because my thing is, I'm asking I'm asking either your father or the most important man in your life to marry you. And if I'm asking him to marry you, that means I'm taking him off your hands. True story, my little sister, man, nigga asked me, you know, him, he asked me and my dad, was like, yo, can I marry, you know, can I marry your sister? And that nigga ain't got no plan, you know what I'm saying? And he didn't have, he don't have a, you know, like, I, I, like my thing is, my, you can't be my, you can't, you can't be my sister husband and my sister asking me for money, you know what I'm saying? She shouldn't ask me for nothing. She, you either, you got it, and, and my thing is, as a, as a husband, if I don't got it, I'm going to find a way to get it. You can't I'm going to find a way to get it. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all this, right? I'm a, I'm a, and we're going to be completely transparent up in this motherfucker. Like, listen, this time, I remember this times, man, and, you know, there's times where I ain't got it like that or I'm broke. And the girl that I'm dating, she'll tell you, man, I'll go on Instagram or I'll go on Facebook and I'm selling T-shirts. Because I, I, there's no way I'm not, I'm not. There's no way no woman gonna look me in my eyes and I tell her like, if I ain't got, like, if I'm your man and I ain't got forty dollars for you to have, what the fuck am I your man for? You know what I'm saying? So, 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 but, 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 comma, but, you should. I think a lot of women, you should offer. You should offer. Don't assume, like, we have to have this conversation. Like, I mean, and marriage is different than being boyfriend and girlfriend, all right? Like, if I'm your boyfriend, I'm not paying your rent, all right? That's just the bottom line. If I'm your boyfriend, I'm not paying. It's a lot of things I'm not paying for. I, but, but, but my thing is, you have to, y'all have to, y'all have to, I just think, when it, again, when it comes to gender roles, like, it's, you want gender roles to apply when it applies or when, it, when it's convenient for you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it, don't be, don't, don't, don't be, don't, don't. Yeah, if you wanted to apply all the time, apply all the fucking time. You want to fight for equal pay and shit like that? All right, we'll get equal pay and equal pay on these fucking bills too. All right, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not, like, and I'm, and I know I sound like an asshole for saying that, but I'm just, I'm just keeping it a beam because a lot of times we get, a lot of times guys get into situations where guys can't be honest about their finances. You know why? Because we don't, we, 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 we either a, yeah, women take advantage, or b, you know, you make us feel less than because we don't got it. I, I, I had, a, I had a girl, true story. I had a girl, we, we was, yo, true story, man. I never get, she asked her male friend for $200. And like, cause I, and, and she asked me first, I ain't have it. And then she got it from her male friend. Now they not like brothers and no shit like that. Like he just another, like she, he's Matt. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> Paul, man. she didn't understand why I was so upset about that. You know what I'm saying? Cause she basically tried you. I wouldn't say Made she Made you look like a sucker, cause now Matt looking at you like this broke ass nigga. I don't even know what she I don't even know what she needed the money for and, 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 and you know, I don't remember. Probably but some hair, some but my thing is I think that, you know, well, okay, let me ask you this. If you dating a guy, Mel, mm -hmm. all right, um, what do you what do you expect financially from him? Let's say and then we're talking not we're not we're not talking about y'all y'all been let's say y'all been y'all been together for a year. Y'all not married, but y'all been together for a year. So this is a serious relationship. What do you expect from him financially? I wanna hear what you Financially, expect. um, especially if I got it, because I I talk a lot of city girl shit, but I low key kinda be tricky when I got it. No, no. You talk a lot of city girl shit? Not like that tricking, but I'm just saying like I don't mind like paying for some shit every once in a while. But financially, from if we've been together for a year, if I'm in a bind, if I need two hundred dollars, I need to be able to hit you like I need fucking two hundred dollars. I need a new tire. It depends when you call me for two hundred dollars. Like next, no, well, okay, well, okay. I mean, if nigga, you have next, it, period. Next week is the first. Don't call me for two hundred dollars on the first, all right? 
around the around the sixteenth. Okay. <laughs> No, but financially, I mean, paying for dates, like, not niggas who, like, press, like, oh, I ain't paying for it, blah, blah. Like, I'll pay for a date. I'm not tripping off that. If I got it. Nothing. Yeah, like, I don't have to, oh, nigga, pay for my nails. Like, no, it would be nice. I can pay for my own nails, but if you want to pay for nails, thank you. That would be very lovely. I had a girl told me I'm not a real boyfriend because I ain't pay for her hair or nails. But we was, like, 22, though, so it was, it, it was, like, this was teenage love shit, man. Nigga, spell that. (laughs) No, you know what's funny, man? Um, I. uh, (laughs) Oh God. Women, like it's funny, man. I never forget a girl asked me. uh, She was like, "Yo," uh, she asked me if I liked her, um, if I liked her hair. Oh God. And uh, this was in my twenties, so this was stupid. I said no, and um, cause it was a, it was a bad haircut. It was a bad it was, it was a bad hairdo. It was like a shortcut. What no, was it was like a it was like a bad bob. Like her her her. It was a yeah. It was it just wasn't it it wasn't like it, she, it was I a, see what she she was trying to go for the Taraji. It, 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 just, it didn't go for the. You know go. your hair bad if a man noticed, cause y'all don't really know the shit. But if you notice some shit that's fucked up, it's fucked up. Yeah. So she was like she was like it's yo fucked. she was like yo do you like my hair and I'm like nah and then she was like well when you pay for my fucking hair then you can tell me how to get my hair. But honestly, hold on. Because that's some real shit, though. Because, okay, I usually have my hair in the afro, for those who don't know me, right? And I got braids today. So if a nigga told me, like, if I, if I flip my phone over and someone's like, oh, I, I like the fro. Nigga, fuck you. I didn't ask you shit about whether I wanted to have a fro or not. So until you start paying for a bitch hair, you really can't put too much. Too now, much. here's, here's. It's not, because don't nobody is, ask you shit. Okay. But she did ask you, though. She here, asked. She asked me, but here's the funny part. Uh, hey, okay, my man. All right. See, it's funny, right? <laughs> women, women, guys do shit for women. Yes. You know what I mean? Like I got a beard because women like beards. <laughs> I got a, I got, I got the fuck boy part in my haircut because women like haircuts. You know what I'm saying? If women didn't like beards, guess what would, would not be on my motherfucking face? <laughs> if your lady tell you, bro, let's say, okay, you got on, what's that, a pink shirt? Let's just say you want. No, I'm not. I'm not trying. Like I ain't. Yeah, I ain't. No. So let's say. No, because I'm a comedian. You gotta tell niggas like, yo, I'm not trying to bust it. I'm not trying to. (laughs) If your woman said, yo, I don't like that fucking shirt. I'm gonna take this bitch off. But but if if I tell a woman if I tell a woman, yo, babe, I don't like that shirt. Then they're gonna ask you 50 million questions about why you don't like the shirt. And then get petty and then tell me that fucking, you know, Eric liked the shirt. And I sure will. I sure if will. If you don't like the shirt, Somebody this nigga. Somebody like this Because <laughs> Eric will like that shirt. And it's like, somebody going to like. Bro, I, I, mean, I mean, Mel, I've had women, I've had women who tell me I don't, they don't like certain shit and I never wore it again, yo. It's, it's bad. We want consideration. It's not consideration. Like, I'm not... I it's not consideration. Ooh, I didn't get these braids like, oh, Marcus gonna love these motherfuckers. No, no. Right, I like no, you get braids, braids because other black women hype you up. Ooh, yes, yes braids. braids. Come on, braids. And I got a lot of yes braids. I niggas did. don't be like, yes, Spellman. Like, no, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nigga walk earlier. I had a nigga ask me, why you got on a Spellman shirt? Why you ain't wearing a Warhouse shirt? I'm like, nigga, get off my dick, yo. <laughs> yeah. I like black women. Good. That's rare. A man who lives in LA who likes black women. I like, well, I got a friend of mine who hates LA, right? <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> she's here too. I'm not going to point her out. She hates LA though. She's like, uh, I see you, sis. We no, here. you don't. <laughs> no, but she was telling me, like, she was in LA and the guy was like, oh, you, you thick. And she's like, no, she's not thick at all. Like, I'm not, <laughs> like, not in a, no, 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 not in a this way. Like, she's not, like, she ain't thick. Like, she's like, no, she's a good. No, she's fine. Like, but she's not thick. Like, you, okay. You, she's not Buffy the Body. She's okay. not. Yeah, but in LA, she's because they, they. Yeah, and I'm just like, why are you listen to these niggas? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like you know what I, you know what I realized, ladies. For some of y'all, I get it, man. In certain cities, like where are you, you from, Florida? What part of Florida are you from? Miami. You from Miami? Crib. Okay. Sorry, it's our ghetto call. All right, all right, chill out, relax. <laughs> relax. 
don't you hate it when y'all when somebody live in another city and they shout their city out like nigga go back like <laughs> you asked no, I'm just saying, like, people always, like, people come to L.A. and be like, oh, I hate L.A. It ain't New York, nigga. Go to New York. <laughs> That's your option, like. No, you know what I hate? I hate when people call out their city in a fight. Like, what the fuck does Detroit have to do with anything? Uh, it got a lot. Okay. Detroit got a lot They to may do have a weapon. It. Okay, let's. There's certain cities, if you call that city out, I'm like, you know what? You right, dog. <laughs> you right, dog. And I'm going to tell you them cities. As a matter of fact, that's it's only a few cities though. It's not a lot. Top five cities. Chicago. Top five. Chicago. Listen. They have guns. Listen. Top five cities. Top five cities where I'm like, you right. <laughs> Number one. Chicago. Chicago, Chicago Illinois. Chicago, absolutely. Nigga, if a nigga tell me, oh, I'm from the south side of Chicago, nigga. I'm going to be honest, Atlanta not on the list, and I'm going to tell you why. Because if a nigga say, I'm from Atlanta, I'm like, well, how you doing, nigga? <laughs> Don't play Atlanta like that. Just stop. Don't run off the stage on Atlanta. Don't do that. It depends on what side of town they're from. Fuck that shit. I ain't scared of no nigga from Atlanta, man. Fuck that. Now, like, if T.I., now, now, it depends how you say it, though. Like, if T.I. be like, hey, homeboy, you know what I mean? Partner. I'm from Atlanta, partner. Uh, you, you, you right, nigga. Like, when he told Shit. Kodak Black, he's like, look, nigga, take that shit down. Immediately. Expeditiously. Expeditiously. <laughs> you right. <laughs> you right. <laughs> you right. Speaking of Kodak Black, fuck, anyway. Fuck him, know. yeah. Um, you know, because I know me and Lauren London, first, me and Lauren London were really good friends, man, and, um, uh, yeah, anyway. So that's some dirty shit. Anyway. All right, second city. Four. You, you New Orleans. Oh, now, listen, listen. This, hey, this is our top five. Memphis is number two. Memphis is. Um, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I perform, I perform stand-up around the country, mm -hmm. around the world. And when I tell y'all, I never been treated so bad. <laughs> Than Memphis, Tennessee, nigga. What they do, friend? Nigga, I had a nigga tell me when I was dressed on stage. Like, so when I'm on stage, like when I when I'm with DL, I gotta wear like shirt, tie. So oh, they checked your ass. I try not to dress like DL. Like he wears a nice he, he the fedora. The, the like, nigga got money. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, nice uncle. So yeah. I'm wearing I'm wearing a sweat a cardigan sweater, oh, shirt, see. tie, and this nigga Duh. was like, man, this nigga's like, if you don't get your teacher looking ass off the fucking stage. <laughs> I'm like, and I told the nigga, I said, I ain't going nowhere. He's like, I think you might want to leave, nigga. <laughs> I said, you right. <laughs> Third city, where you right? Third city. New Orleans. Baltimore, Maryland, nigga. Now, first of all, you got to say Baltimore. You can't Baltimore. say Baltimore. It's Baltimore. Baltimore, Maryland. Now, now um, I got hit by a car in Baltimore. <laughs> I'm not even making that shit up, yo. You have lived a thousand lives. What the fuck? I've lived a lot of life, man. <laughs> um, number four, uh, you right, city. Is, it's not really a city, but it's a borough. Nigga, Brooklyn. <laughs> and you know why? And I'm going to tell you why. Well, you know what? No, fuck Brooklyn. Man, that shit nice now, man. Nigga, Brooklyn nice. Just because it's gentrified don't mean... No. Nah. Them niggas dispersed. You know a city where you right? It's not even a city, it's a whole area. Anywhere, Mississippi, Alabama, and no. With them, with it, when, when, them, when them rednecks be like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, listen. Them true niggas story. ain't got shit to lose. True story. I'm checking in a hotel in, in, in Montgomery, Alabama. This, this isn't a good story. I'm telling, I'm, I'm in Montgomery, Alabama, and the motherfucker, the motherfucker called me boy. Yeah. Nigga, you, I, you I, man, I'm in Montgomery, I'm like, God, Martin Luther King, please. Um, and I had to tell the nigga, like, yo, like, I, this ain't, this ain't 1966, nigga, like, it's 2019, uh, 2018, I'll beat your ass. 
But he, you know, most of them, most of the motherfuckers got shotguns behind they, they pickup they trucks. Yes. Yeah, so I'm good with Confederate flag. And and what's so what, what we got so far? Let's let's recap. So number one was was Chicago. Chicago. Number two was was Memphis. Memphis number Baltimore. three was Baltimore. Number four, we we could get rid of the South. Let's just give it, give them another city. What's another city? New Orleans. I heard New Orleans, and that shit is. I like. Well, here's the thing. New Orleans is is is, is give or take because New no. Orleans. You make one wrong turn, nigga. Yeah, yeah no. I mean, I get that you. You, you yeah, doing like the first fifth one or some shit like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, nigga. I'm gonna tell y'all. Jacksonville is. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all a true story about uh, performing in Houston. All right. And Houston to me is one of my favorite cities. Got the best looking black women in the country. I'm and sorry. And men. Yeah. Houston. I was is there it. for less than 24 hours and fell in love yeah. full time. Yeah. But so, so you, you know, you know. Okay. I mean, you might be too young for this, but um, remember the Ghetto Boys? I'm familiar. Yeah. They do. You don't. It's G E T O Boys, right? Yeah. But that because okay, you know how to they, spell it don't mean you know who the fuck. I'm they familiar are. with the shit. Yes, the okay. Ghetto Boys. So one of the one of the rappers' names is Willie D. All right. All right, so Willie did true. I'm not making this shit up. He can confirm this story. So we at, we in we in the Houston Improv. Me and DL, we we having fun. We laughing, joking, blah blah blah. So DL's on stage. Willie D is in the back talking about. I didn't know who he was at first. At right? the time. Mm-hmm. So he's he's sitting there. He didn't introduce himself or nothing. We we just talking. He talking about colleges. He says, "Man, yo, man, TSU talking about Texas Southern University." He's like, "Man, the motherfuckers there. They crazy. They ain't trying to learn." Blah 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 blah. Right. So I'm looking like you talking about college, nigga. Did you go to college? That's what uh, I said. Oh no. He said, <clears throat> he said, nigga, I didn't need to go to college. Google me. You know who the fuck I am. This is my city. <clears throat> so I Googled him. He said, <laughs> he said, Google Willie D. I said, I, go- I Googled him. I'm like, oh shit, he's a nigga from the side. And then I said, he said, then he said, yeah, nigga, you gonna respect me in my city. And I said, well, I respect Scarface. And um <laughs> When I tell you Willie D is you know, the he's a boxer, yeah. yeah, he's the strongest nigga I've ever encountered. Like his chest hit my chest, and I said, God, please don't let this nigga <laughs> stop me, bro. And next thing you know, <laughs> next thing you know, my man Gary got in the middle of it. He's like, yo, man, separated, man. He man, he's like, man. and so long story short, so later that evening. Question. Yeah. Did you have on a cardigan at this point? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, okay, okay, I just, but no, sorry. so so next thing I know, so next thing I know, man, uh, somebody walks up to me like, Clint, uh, you just got into it with Willie D? I said, yeah. I was like, yeah, man. He was like, yo, man, I think you better leave. I said, no, nigga, that nigga's on the phone right now. You better leave. I left. So are you allowed back in Houston? I am back in Houston. We, we're, we're friends now. I got a picture with him and everything. We're cool now. Okay. So the, the very next day, I apologized to him because, you know, you ever, you ever, you ever not know who you're dealing with, and then you find out, and you're like, oh, my bad, bro. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I was tripping. Yeah, so, yeah. So, but I don't know if it's just him that's about that life, or Houston. Oh, it's all, okay. All right, so, so does Houston make the list? Because I almost didn't make it out of Houston. Well, she, but you may have just, should have just shut the fuck up at that one. You, you said what? Houston make the list, but not him. When the last time you missed it like, um, all right, so wait a minute. Let's let's hurry up. Let's get let's get past. Okay, it. okay. So we got we we know the top three for sure is uh, New Orleans needs to be on there. I don't believe that just because you you can't you not you not gonna smack the shit out of me while listening to bounce music, nigga. Like I'm not <laughs> nice for what, nigga? No, like <laughs> bro, them niggas. These hoes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nigga, who's y'all tough guys? That's because you, know that's that's you don't got, leave. You don't leave Canal Street. We gotta. We gotta Once figure out. Once you leave Canal Street, we gotta figure real. out. Okay, your city has to have tough guys. Like I'm from Philly. We okay, got someone tough guys. said Jacksonville, Florida. I hate Jacksonville, Florida. Same. Yeah, I can't fuck. I had to live there. Yeah, nah, Get that's up. it. Yeah, no, throw the whole city in the trash. It's it's pretty bad. You and the Jaguars, motherfucker, like. <laughs> Uh, no, but okay. Give me okay. Um, I would don't say, sleep on Florida because you I have would, no Florida. I would say there. I would say Philly, but Philly Philly's ignorant niggas, man. Like women, literally, like yo, you are not safe. Like anybody's not safe in Philly. Like yo, like uh, there's a whole bunch of motherfuckers who really think they're Beanie Siegel in 2001. <laughs> and I gotta remind y'all, I'm like yo, like that nigga got kidney problems, man. Like yo, not kidney 
the problem. Okay. It's either you're either that nigga or you, you're, you're meek and you're yelling every five seconds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, we didn't talk about L.A. I mean, of course, it's L.A., but then LA, it's like, No, you know, L.A.'s okay. a problem. It's because it got gangs. Yeah. I'm scared. I'm, I'm, yeah, no. Nah. Like um, one they don't, I don't even think they make the list, man. Like, then who, okay, hold on. D- Detroit definitely makes the list. Detroit. Detroit's absolutely. Only reason why Detroit makes the list because because Trick Trick has a. Yes, I, he has, I don't even know about shit, but I know so listen, I need to check in with Trick Trick before he I got, go. Yeah, if you want to perform, like I'm gonna do my pocket. Hey, Detroit, I'm doing a live pocket. Trick Trick, if you see this video, please I just call me if it's nigga. okay. I'll pay you whatever you I need to pay. Making motherfuckers laugh in my city. Yeah. All right. So we got Detroit, and then number five, man, Cleveland's. Woo. Cleveland? Cleveland, nigga. Yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland over Miami, LA. It's Miami sunny, LA sunny. There's nothing sunny about Cleveland. There's a bunch of niggas in bad moods all day, every day. I mean, I'd be mad if I lived in Cleveland too, but still, like. Yeah. Miami? Come on. All right. That's our top our top five is this this was this wasn't a good top five, man. We can come, we can come harder. This wasn't it. We'll we'll get back to it. Um, but I do want to get to my favorite part of the show. Um, and the favorite part of the show is Ask Clint. And uh, Ask Clint is always interesting. And um, I'm going to read you guys a question. And um, the brother is in the building. Uh, I'm not going to point you out, bro. Um, But you, uh, he had a question for Ask Clint. And um, now do me a favor, y'all. Can y'all do me a favor? Please hold your applause or hold your laughs or hold your comments till after I read the entire story because this is a good one. Oh. oh, seriously. Wow. Hey, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Clint. I'm a big fan of your podcast. I listen to it religiously. I respect your real, unbiased opinion and truth. So this leads me to ask you this question. My best friend was dealing with this girl for two dealing with this girl two years ago. He said all they were doing was fucking. That's it. Nothing more. He said he didn't like her like that, and all he wanted from her was sex and to use her for her car. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a piece of shit move. Okay, Jody. He hated me. She, she hated me. I didn't understand why, because we never really spoke to each other, and we never really met each other. They stopped fucking with each other uh, after that year. Fast forward two years later. I run into that girl at a bar. Here we go. And she, and, she, and she comes up to me randomly, and she explained why she didn't like me. It's because all of these horrible, untrue things that he was saying about me to make her, not like, to make her, to make her like him more. We're drunk, up, and getting along. By the end of it, the night, we were fucking. And continued to just fuck for three months. Now she's pregnant. Can he be mad about this? He is, by the way. Laugh out loud. <laughs> okay, wait. Wait. I got this. Give me a second. Okay. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Okay. Let's start off with number one, all right? First of all, um, he says, first of all, one thing I didn't like was you said that he was, um, your friend was, the reason why the girl didn't like you is because your friend was saying bad shit about you to make her not like him. Now, now, that's real life. Like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. So, and this is where the bro code comes in at. So, let's just hypothetically say, it's me and Matt, me and Matt, and then, oh, girl, is your lady, right? Matt, I'm your, I'm the, like, if you, if I'm single, you in a relationship, you out, you doing something you ain't got no business doing, I'm your alibi. Blame it on Clint. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to take, I'm, I'm dying, for, I'm dying for all men's sins. <laughs> I'm here for you, bro. So, so, naturally, if you always talking shit like, yeah, I was with Clint, and Clint had this broad, and Clint was doing this, Clint, and Clint was doing that, and, and I'm like, all right, I get it, but but it's okay. I'll take the fall because your girl don't matter to me, all right? So that's probably what was happening. Okay. So then, old boy probably came clean, and he was like, yo, that nigga was lying. It wasn't me, blah, 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 blah. Now, bro, you're not wrong for fucking this girl, and you're not wrong for getting her pregnant. And I'm going to tell you why you're not wrong. You're not wrong because your friend specifically said, and this is a part of the bro code, fellas, let me know if I'm wrong. Your friend said we were just fucking. Your friend said I only want her for sex and car. 
which is pretty basic, but whatever. If you're going to fuck a chick, man, get some benefits more than a car and pussy. Like, fuck a chick that work at Chick-fil-A, nigga. Like, get you, get you some waffle fries out the goddamn deal, all right? But my thing is, is that if you, okay, if you my man and you tell me and I tell you we just fucking, you don't fuck the girl no more, I'm going to be honest, it's fair game. It's yeah. fair game. The only time it's not fair... Huh? Is there a time frame that's clear? Yeah, it's a, it's a time frame. I, I would say it's, give it a year. Give it a year. And then okay. you can go do whatever you need to do. If and you it's feel been like two it. years in this case. Exactly. So, so. he's not wrong. Um, the only thing why he could be mad about it is, is that she let, she let you stay in. She probably made him pull out. Because she probably said... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, like fellas, like I mean, fellas don't hate on each other, but you know, there's guys who be like, remember you ever watched the wood? And and uh, what's his name? Uh, Slim. Slim was like, wait a minute, why you ain't gonna let me fuck? You let that other nigga, nigga fuck? Like, you let the nigga Terry bone. But wait a minute, Terry it, definitely bone. But wait a minute, girls do that too though. Girls look at your past bitches, you fuck like you fucked her. Yeah, my pussy's too good for you. <laughs> like, you I stay down it. there with them peasants, bitches. You know what I'm saying? What do you got to say? I know, I'm kind of familiar with a little bit of God Cole, and I know when it's a bitch you actually give like a little fraction of a fuck about, yeah. you let that be known. So if it's no, hey, I care about this person as a human being, it's kind of fair game. So I don't think Buddy has the right to be mad, especially if he said he was using her for a vehicle and for vagina. There's so many bitches out here that don't make no sense. You know what you're absolutely right. And it's right, been two years. But I want that bitch. All right? He's probably. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's been two years, he's probably using a new bitch for her car and coochie right now. Cause he, yeah. Unless he has his own car. And I don't know if he just really miss her, Ultima, but. <laughs> like, <laughs> he said he missed her, Ultima. That's not Ultima ass shit or Sentra. Ooh, and a cord. Ooh. That's Ain't nothing wrong. Hey, hey man, the Altima's a nice fucking car. All right? It is. Man. It is. I'm not hating on no chick that got an Altima, man. Bring that. Bring you in that that Altima over here, man. They got a lot of space in Altimas. They do got a lot of space. How do you know, Mel? My auntie have an Altima. Okay. D- don't do that. Okay. <laughs> um. Fuck you. My niggas be driving Mustangs. You said your niggas drive Mustangs. Like. You know, American muscle cars. Fuckboy cars, that's what I like. Well, the fuckboy car is the Challenger. All the American... Challenger, Charger, Charger. <laughs> Mustang. Uh, what's the other ones? Fucking... That's a good top five. What? Top, top five, five fuck- fuckboy cars. That's a good one. We, I got a... Okay, I don't know... I don't drive fuckboy cars, so... Okay, but you have fuckboy friends. I had a Prius, nigga, so I just... <laughs> It's the LA All right, give, give, me the, give me the top okay. five fuckboy cars. All the American muscle cars. Those are number one. Challenger, Charger, Mustang, Camaro. That's number uno. Okay. What's number two? Because that's four cars. Okay. Number... I mean, that's the whole umbrella of cars. Number two, white Hondas. <laughs> they gotta be white. I'm telling you. It's a science. <laughs> the science. All right, white Hondas. A white Honda. Any nigga in here drive a white Honda? All right. If that nigga drive a white Honda, run. Number three. All right. A a Chevy Malibu, actually. That was going to be. A Chevy Malibu. A Chevy Malibu. That's an American car. It's an American car. But that's them corporate America saving up type nigga cars. Them niggas work. That, them niggas work on the thirty-second floor. If they drive that car, and they ain't shit, and they smoke a lot of weed. Crown Vic is the drug dealer car. <laughs> you ever dated a drug dealer that's not a fuckboy? No. No. You've dated a drug dealer before? That's not my. That's not my brand. No. That's not my brand. <laughs> Certain type of nigga. Listen, I, I'm not. I'm not with the hood shit, so I don't have. I, I'm not fit to get shot up because I'm fucking with you. That's just not. Right. I, I can understand that. I like niggas with desk right. jobs. You know, you like niggas with desk jobs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so Crown Vic. So hood the pro fight car. has a desk job or the the, the the deal? All the niggas I talked to got desk jobs, honestly. Okay. Okay. What else? All of them. So Crown Vic Impalas. Okay. Anything with like rims. <laughs> and number five, fuckboy car is no car. I guess I'm a fuckboy right now, cause now, well, well, 
Oh, y'all out? Damn. You dr- you fuck with niggas that don't got no cars? <laughs> they about to go get into an Altima. Uh, <laughs> we just playing. We playing. God is good. Thanks uh, for coming. <laughs> That's it. So, American Muscle. Why does a nigga with no car got to be a fuckboy? <laughs> because they always everywhere with no car. Because you're everywhere. With- That's why they make Uber. That's actually, that was part of the no car, like the Uber. So but either way. So wait a minute. So if I Uber you, if we Uber, that's, that's fuck boy shit. Like full time. That's broke. That's, that's not yeah, always broke. That's it's not, not broke. It's not always broke. Uber is broke. Because in New York don't have cars. You know how much it costs to. <laughs> exactly. Wait a minute. On my, on me, personally? I felt that in my soul too, though. That was personal. Yeah, we, we, hey, 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 we get, we get, we get, we get personal up in here, man. All right, look, we got, I'm gonna do one more ass clint. We're gonna wrap up the podcast, man. Um, so here's the last one. Okay. Ask clint. Okay. It says, Hi, clint. If Hi. you could keep my name anonymous, I'd appreciate it. I need clarity for a situation I'm in. My male best friend and I have been friends since we were 13. So for 16 years, we speak every day, a few times a day, in every way, whether it's it's FaceTime, IG, text, etc. He plays pro ball, so we're only in person. Oh, I I think I've read this before. Well, I'll give you advice again, baby, because this is crazy. Um, she says, uh, he plays pro ball, so we're, we're only in person during the off season and we're, uh, physically intimate. We act like nothing, we act like it's nothing and keep it pushing. We help each other if we're in relationships with other people. He's held it down financially multiple times, but I'm just not his cup of tea. He may not like black women in a romantic capacity because, uh, mostly he dates white and Hispanic women. I just, I just don't get it, honestly. I've asked him, and he said he feels like it's not wrong, and he, and he has rights to me. What the fuck is up? What's your perspective, please? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, All right. wait. All right, um, <laughs> here's my thing. That is, this, what she's describing, is absolutely fuckboy behavior. And mainly, mainly because, I mean, I don't even care that he don't date. If you don't date black women, bro, that's on you. I don't aim, I, I don't care who you date, date who you want, love don't. I happen. care. I don't, I don't care. It don't bother me. I don't, I don't bother me. But what I will say is that I think it's really fucked up that what it, it says that they're, they're always in communication and black. He just looks at you as a really good friend that he likes to have sex with. Bottom line. And get money too, down to and, and, and yeah, but. The thing is, ladies, if you want something, I'm not a mind reader. Tell me. Fellas, you know, like, I don't, I don't know what you're thinking. Tell me. Tell me. If you, want to, if you want more than just what we're doing, you got to speak up. If you don't speak, closed mouths don't get fed. Closed vaginas don't get fucked. <laughs> closed vaginas don't get fucked. I mean, I'm just being honest. Like, like okay, like, how, like, I, I never forget I had a situation where I'm dating this, I'm, I mean, well, I'm not, me and this girl, we, we, we just friends. We just friends. But then I'm, I'm, I'm fucking somebody else. You know what I mean? She found out I was fucking another chick. And she's like, oh, um, she's like, you, you know, she always, first of all, girls hit you with the, oh, I saw you and your little friend. And uh, that, <laughs> come on, let's, let's grow up, all right? You know? But she, she was like, she was like, oh, you're not trying to fuck with me because you got, I'm like, how did I, how did I even know you like me? I didn't know you like me. You never said it. You no, the fuck we don't! No, we don't! No, we don't! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. You know what? Listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me tell you, you do you know what you know what guys know? You know what guys know? When we meet you and we in the first five minutes, we do know what this about to be, alright? We know if you're gonna be our girlfriend. We know, like, like I, every man that's married said, yo, when they met their wife, that was gonna be my wife. They know that. But we don't know if you like us the yes, fuck back. How? Yeah, how? 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 How, Sway? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanna know how do men know that women like us? You're talking to me? Hold on, hold on. Okay. 
Okay, wait. Are wait. you retarded? <laughs> time out, time out, time out. How many? Ma'am, 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 you loud for no reason. Relax. Ma'am, everybody here loud. Ma'am, what'd you say? Thank you. Ma'am, what'd you say? We ignore niggas 24 7. We act like niggas do not speak to us all the time. Oh. If I am actively talking back to you, or I'm being cool with you, or I'm even acknowledging your presence, that means that there's something How did that work? I got this. I got this. Wait, hold on. No, wait a minute. Listen, we got to get ready to wrap this up. Listen. I hear you. What's your name? Kiar. How you doing, Kiar? I'm good. Good. Me too. Actually, anyway. Okay. How many times, fellas, just fellas, 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 how many times have you seen women say, oh, I, just because I talk to you don't really mean that I'm like... <laughs> How many times has that happened? That happens all... There's a nigga... Listen, my man Matt right here in the friend zone, she talked to you, she don't like you! Hold on, hold, hold. All the women in here are dirty because they wrong. wrong. Hold the fuck on, no. Hold and wrong. Because I haven't had a chance oh, to speak to you because y'all are fighting this ahead, nigga like he fucking Ali and real shit. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Look, we're going we gonna, to we gonna get the mail. Beautiful woman right here with the glasses in the fro. You're going to talk, and then we're going we gonna to close the show, all right? All right, Bell. Okay. So you mean to tell me that this woman and, and this colorist king that she's talking to they fucking. They fucking. He's giving her money. Often. Often. And they talk all day, every day on different media. All mediums. day, every fucking Duh, day. Does she's in fucking love with him? Like, I don't understand what the fuck. Like, they but, giving each other advice, all this other shit. Right. Like, no, I'm not. I'm t- I said he was a fucking. But, okay, but y'all be acting like, oh, I didn't know. Like, so, no, she probably staring man, him. No, but Mel, what I'm saying is, there's a lot of times when men don't know that you like her. We, we, y'all like he her. knows, though. If, he, if he you know knows. somebody this for 13 nigga, years. That nigga know. I'm not, I'm not denying it. Go ahead. What you want to say? Let her, let her finish. My bad. Go ahead. Okay, yes, that nigga does know. I agree. And y'all act like y'all don't know, but it's like, oh. duh. Y'all act like y'all, y'all fucking know. Y'all do shit. Ronnie, shut the fuck up. Shut hey, up. I got a question. Shut up. Is there any woman in here right now that likes a guy? Wait a minute. Is there any woman in here right now that, that likes a guy in here right now? No. no. But you know what? You want to know what's funny? We you, throw hints all the time. You are a grown ass woman with a grown ass fucking mouth. I don't want to hear that you, we got hints. I don't want to take your hints. Tell me. Tell me. Well, tell me. I personally, from Melanie, will will say something. What do you say that that lets me? Why you can't say what's on your mind. No, it's not clear. Get your man. Yeah, that's, he's triggered. But you call this queen over here loud, but this nigga ain't shut up. He's loud. Yeah. He's loud too. I told him to shut up. I told Merlin to shut up. But but because. Right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what were you gonna say? Oh yeah, queen, go ahead. What's hey up, girl. sis? How you doing? What's your name? My name is Yolita. Hey, how you doing? I'm Clint. <laughs> Here he go. You, you like me? <laughs> oh. oh <laughs> Got his ass. So, wait a minute. I don't know how to take that. You like me when I'm not talking? I'm going to ask my question. Okay. Go ahead. I felt it. I understand what you said, sis. So she was saying I'm fine, or she was saying like a lot of niggas are really cute until they open their mouths, like just shut the fuck up. Okay. Till we realize y'all dumb, it's okay. Go ahead, Yuli. I don't know your name, but you're speaking a lot of truth over here, and I wanted to ask you a question about the 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 relationship you have with your friend who yeah. was feeling you, yeah. but you wanted her to say something. Right. There's a lot of men in here, and there's a lot of women who interact with men. For the ladies, when men want something. Do they say something? Oh, Do they Exactly. Uh, your, your sisters ain't feeling you right now, all right? No, exactly. I feel you. There are so many men who are underqualified, but yet still shoot their shot. 
underqualified. Wait a minute. Ne- like the niggas at the gas station, yes. <laughs> Them gas station niggas gonna shoot every time. Wait a minute. I'm qualified to shoot my shot. Go ahead. You right. Go ahead. So if you were interested in that friend and he's interested in you, wouldn't you have said something to her? Yeah. So here's the thing. I made it. Now, I'm glad you, I'm glad, my boy, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> because when we first met, I shot my shot and I asked her on a date and she told me this is not a date. We just friends going out. Then later on, you know, a nigga lost a couple pounds. <laughs> nigga got a blue check mark next to his name. That'll do it. And now all of a sudden is, oh, you fucking with these bottles. I tried to fuck with you. <laughs> now, but you didn't like me. But my thing is, and then I'm joking, I'm, 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 I'm embellishing, but all jokes aside, I did shoot my shot first. She denied me. And then she grew to like me, but I didn't know that she grew to like me because all I remember her saying out of her mouth was, we are friends, not lovers. Sit your asses down, sit down, sit. I'm sick of y'all asses. God damn. Hey, hey, you know what? Listen, we can end the podcast right there. You want to keep it real? You know the fucking deal. Anyway, all right, no, but no, but does that, I'm sorry. Does that, but does that answer your question, Elisa? We'll have another conversation. Okay. That, but what she said is true, though. You said what? We have a lot of options. All right, look, 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 look. It's it's getting late. I'm gonna address I'm gonna address the options thing, and we. Like y'all talk to multiple women. No, you are, you don't talk to multiple men. Listen, let me tell you something. You think you think? All right, fellas, fellas. You ever be faithful to a woman, and then you stop talking to her, and you got no holes left? You got nothing in your phone. There's a lot of listen. There's a. There's a lot of men in here tonight that's gonna go home. We don't got options, it's 12 o'clock. We go home, we beating off, man, it's over. <laughs> we beating off, there's no options. You think, you assume we got options. We don't, yeah. listen, there, there's not, yeah, we, I don't got a whole bunch of bitches beating at my door. Women don't want to be with me. Women don't want to be with me, they, you know what they do? They were like, oh man, I, you're funny, I want to take you home to my mom and do the jokes. <laughs> and that's it. Yes. <laughs> Come on, funny man. No coochie, no nothing. Just joke. It's okay. It's all right. Anyway, last segment of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, is the Everybody Eats portion of the podcast. What I do is, is that I got a really big platform, and, and I really appreciate everybody coming out to see me and stuff like that. But, you know, we, we've just, um, we got, you know, uh, you know, with listeners and stuff like that, we got a lot of listeners, and I always want to plug people's businesses for free. I mean, a lot of times podcasts charge for ads. I'm like, nah, we need to support each other. We need to support black businesses. With that being said, my homegirl, her name is Carrie. She has a cake company. She's dope as fuck. She's from Philly. Where you at, girl? Where you at? You in the, you in the There you are. All right, yeah, man. Holla at y'all. Y'all want a birthday cake? Make sure you ha- make sure it happens, man. Seriously. Um, and that and that's really hey, so. I always ask, what did we learn today? So what did you learn today? Um, Jesus, it's been a long road. Um, speak. Detroit is dangerous. Stay away from the niggas. Um, I try up north niggas. I always gotta proceed with caution with them anyway. Beware of certain cars. Um. To tell niggas that I like them because they don't know. Because these grown ass men don't know that I like them. Which is some bullshit. Because, like she said, if a man wanted you, he would have made it known. That's why we throw little hints. Like, but maybe. the funny thing is, if we want you, like, here's the thing. A man can want all he wants. You can want a girl all you want. If she don't want you back, what the fuck you going to do? But if I'm booty too and then giving you opportunities to shoot. Okay, oh, maybe not man. booty too. I'm, I'm booty too is bad. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, what else not did you learn? Tootin'. Okay, what else did we learn? No, no, you what you learned. Uh, I'm trying learn. to think of what I learned. I mean, men are trash, but I've been new that. Men are what? Trash. Men are trash. Okay. <laughs> you can't say that. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? You know, bitches ain't shit. Bro, I, and tricks. Y'all made songs about. I didn't shit. say that. Snoop said that. That's in so look, exactly. ninety three, bro. Um, <laughs> Y'all been saying that longer than I've been alive. Um, 
It was all right. Well, let's. I'm see. young. Fuck. Ninety two actually. That was on the uh, Chronic album. Anyway, then it was on the Chronic album. Bitches ain't shit. But okay. So my my my. What I learned today was number one, ladies and gentlemen, this was the most lit live podcast I've ever had. <laughs> this was the most. Where's like we've we've. Is, Danette, where you at? Danette. Danette? Danette, where'd you at? Where, where oh, she's right there. You don't see her hand? Danette, you, where you it's at? It's glowing. She light skin. It's glowing in the dark. Danette, right are you here? Just say yes or no. <laughs> she right there. Okay, Danette, you, you saw the LA podcast. You saw the New York podcast, right? Yeah. Hands down. Oh, this is lit. Lit. Hands down, man. So. And you talk all that trash about Atlanta. I do. I'm but sorry. look how we showed up for your ass. No, don't say we. You from Miami. <laughs> I've been here for a long time. Um, second, the, the second thing I learned was was that um, I look better, or I'm liked better when I shut the fuck up. <laughs> if men can learn that, then honestly, and uh, I, I learned that I learned that today. And what else I learned was was that um, you know um, I think we. Uh, if you want to change your life and go with God, um, <laughs> that needs to have a, that needs to be a Let conversation a first. Yeah. Um, Cause if I'm not gonna fuck nobody, you could be with God and fuck. You know that, right? Like, no. He'll forgive you. He'll for, he'll definitely. God, God I'm I'm so forgive sorry. you for that. I'm so That's crazy. All right. Um, thank you guys for coming out. Um, so look. Look, everybody here, y'all paid five dollars to get in this show, right? You paid five dollars, so um, uh, we got T-shirts. Buy one. One minute, one minute um, Yeah, so we got so we got some for men and we got some for women. So for girls, say no to fuck boys. Yeah, say no to fuck boys and girls. But for guys, we got say no. <laughs> Sit your ass down. <laughs> and for guys, we got say no to fuck girls. Get a shirt. Listen, I gotta be fair. Look, so we, 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 we take, we take, we take cash, and for you motherfuckers who be like, I would help you out, but I ain't got no cash. <laughs> I got the car swiper. <laughs> we Niggas. can make some shit happen tonight. Um, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. Hands down, literally the best po live podcast <laughs> we have ever had, man. Like this, I'm almost, I'm almost moved, man. Um, uh, what else, man? Um, we, we, is that it? Um, yeah, so I'm going to be out in the lobby. As soon as we get out of here, I'm going to be out in the lobby selling the shirts. And um, if you want to, if, if I don't have your size, you can order a shirt. We'll send it to you. Um, and, uh, oh, also, don't forget, um, end of the podcast, uh, don't forget, uh, please, fellas, make sure you follow at Advice from a Fuckboy. I am hooking you up with somebody's daughter, me and somebody's son. We are collaborating. Somebody's daughter is out there, and she wants to be treated right. All right? And, again, no dick pics when you slide in the DMs. None of that bullshit, please all right? Please don't. Um, and, ladies, when men slide in your DMs, be respectful. If you're not interested, just say thanks. Just say it. thanks. Thanks for the car. Hey, you know, you, you look nice. Thank you. You don't gotta you don't gotta be like, oh, with your thirsty. No. <laughs> All right. Um, again, Atlanta man, thank y'all so much, man. We had a great time. Let's have some fun, man. Thank y'all for coming out. Appreciate y'all. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Can I plug myself real quick? Go ahead. Oh, my bad. I forgot that. I'm about to say, damn, there. fuck me, huh? No. I'm Mel Mitchell, you guys. Follow me on Instagram. Phone's out. No, make sure you follow her on Instagram. Her at name is it's at Mel. Y'all didn't pull out shit. It's Mel Mitch, by the way. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Y'all are amazing, okay? And people are going, I'm going to put your, your name in the description. Oh, yeah. Thing, yeah, so do that. Do they'll that, definitely do that. follow you. All right, that's it. God bless. You want to keep it real. You know the deal. Keep you up on game. It won't be the same. Say what's in that clip? Call